Bájate el sueldo, perro. The Dutchman is living his worst days as a Barcelona player. The club needs to find a financial solution to register their new signings for La Liga. And De Jong was targeted as one of the responsibilities. Why on earth is Barcelona treating Frankie De Jong so awfully? La Liga will start next weekend, and Barcelona will face Raya Vallecano at the Camp Nou Stadium. But just hours away from the first match, the Blaugrana's new signings are still unavailable. Spanish Federation hasn't accepted the Kool-Aid's financial presentation, as it happened last year when Lionel Messi finally left the club. So, as it stands, neither Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha, Franck Cassier, Andreas Christensen, and Jules Koundé will be able to play next Saturday. Apart from the new signings, the Catalan team needs the green light to register Usman Dembele and Sergi Roberto's contract renewals. Doesn't look good for Laporta and the board, right? The Blaugrana president needed to find an explanation and found a scapegoat in the team, Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong signed a new deal with Barcelona's old board before Laporta's assumption. The new contract made the Dutch the highest earning player in the team. Two years later, Frankie isn't only the best paid footballer, but he's also owed an additional 17 million in unpaid wages. This is why Laporta considers that de Jong's contract could be the primary problem for La Liga to accept Barcelona's new signings. Far from solving this issue with friendly conversations, media reports indicate that the Blaugranas could take legal action against all parties involved in the deal, including de Jong. Evidence of criminality was the term used to describe the argument that the new board would allege. Laporta's idea is for the player to annul the deal and revert to previous terms. This, of course, hasn't been accepted by de Jong's agents simply because Barcelona was the one who offered the contract. For the board, the player has two options, rip up his current contract or leave. By this point, Barcelona's terrible financial situation isn't a secret. As it happened last season, some of the players were asked to reduce their salaries in order to help the club. And once again, Gerard Piquet agreed to renegotiate the terms of his contract. The same would happen in the next few days with Sergio Busquets, while Ter Stegen and Longley also signed similar contracts to reduce the club's wage bill, according to The Sun. These salary cuts piles more pressure on de Jong, as his teammates are resigning money to help the club. The Dutch player has every right to claim for the money that Barcelona owes to him, but choosing to stay in the club and maintain his current contract could not only create a bad environment for him towards the board, but also with other players. De Jong's agents, Ali Dersen and Hassan Chetankaya, met with Barcelona's executives last week, and some speculated with a happy new chapter. But they reached no agreement and pushed for the midfielder to be paid what monies he is owed. FC Barcelona is currently close to reaching a deal with investment group GDA Luma, property of Gabriel de Alba, who's also the owner of Cirque du Soleil. GDA would buy 24.5% of Barca Studios for 100 million euros. A similar agreement was reached days ago with Socios.com in Barcelona's latest attempt to find some air in an exhausting situation. This alliance was supposed to guarantee financial stability for the Catalans and therefore make La Liga approve Barcelona's numbers. But what does this have to do with De Jong? Contrary to what the board expected, the Spanish Federation didn't give the green light to Barcelona, so the club still needs to reduce its financial outgoings. Frankie's current contract ties him to Barcelona until the end of the 25-26 season, which represents a financial problem for the club in short and long term. If the player chooses not to renegotiate his contract, Barcelona would be determined to let him go. De Jong was heavily linked with Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag in the past few weeks, although his former Ajax boss instructed to remain patient on the deal. Chelsea also appeared as a possibility in the last days, as new owner Todd Bowley is ready to steal his rival team's number one target. The player must now make a tough decision. Will he rip up his current contract, or will he look for a new team? So, there you have it. The reasons why Barcelona is treating Frankie de Jong so awfully. Should he continue his career with another team? Is Laporta right to threaten de Jong with legal action against him? Let us know in the comments. While Barcelona struggles to register their new signings in the Spanish Federation, fans are really excited with what the team can do this season. Check out the Kool-Aid's incredible starting 11 for the upcoming season, with Lewandowski and a spectacular attack.